Hi guys, this is Daniel from the Monstrous Tech Show. Uh, you know how everybody wants to get on KitKat and it's out since December and most of the ROMs are still stuck on a nightly build or a weekly build? Well, now there is an official stable version of the SlimCat ROM. And today I want to review it on my Nexus 4. Okay, so as I said, this is a, an official version, build free, based on the latest Android 4.4.2. Uh, the stock itself is uh, very like the stock version of Android. There is no massive theming or anything else like that. Uh, it looks pretty much the same and it functions... Well, I'll talk about how it functions right now. So some of the features of the ROM, you could change the quick settings. Wait, first I'll show you the Android version so you would see what I'm talking about. So here you go, Android 4.4.2. This is the KitKat thingy. And as you can see, SlimCat 4.4.2. And you can see this is a, the build free official. Okay. <clears throat> so now, now to the features. So if you go to interface, it's right here. If you go to interface, you can see that you can change the battery icon like I just did, you know, to the circle, circle with percentage. There are more, but you probably know this feature already. So I won't get delayed on that. Uh, the notification and quick draw settings are pretty much, you know, where everything starts to be interesting. So you can change all and add the toggles as opposed to what you could do in stock. You would just have the, you know, five, six toggles you have here. You can put whatever you want. You can add more things if you would like to. You can even go to, you can have the quick pull down, which I put on the right side, which now if I do this, I don't have to do a double finger swipe. I can just go from the right side and pull it down and I get straight to the quick settings. Uh, you can change the style. Uh, that means you can change the colors of the tiles background to black, yellow, whatever. You can put four instead of three in a row if you want. And, and you can even change the background if you'd like that. Let's, let me just show you how that looks. Go to gallery and I'll put my beloved channel <laughs> logo. And now when I go here, you can see this is the background. Okay, so that's that. Other things, there is the shortcuts, which you can put here. It's pretty much like the power widget you would have on the Cyanogen mod, but instead of being on top, it's down here at the bottom. And you can add whatever um, shortcut you want. You can actually add an application like I just did here with the WhatsApp, which is really nice actually, because this is something you don't have on other ROMs, at least not that I've seen. Okay, now here in the status bar, you can really just change the clock from, you know, right alignment to center. It's not really that special. Okay, next is navigation. You can change the global menu, which is actually the power menu. So if you would hold it down, as I did, you can see I added Pi controls here. This is just to demonstrate that we have, this ROM has Pi controls, which I regu don't regularly use. I don't know where, did I, did I do it? Okay. It has Pi controls, I have to enable it, which I don't really regularly use. Here you can add buttons, as I did. You see I added the menu button, and you can add, add ring targets. You see, like I just did here. Okay, so... Um, more, another important thing this ROM has is the real dark slim skin. It basically just inverts the entire UI color from, its, from the grayish thing to white on top on black. It works with some of the G apps, not all of them, like it works with the Play Store and it works with the YouTube app. But I say, at least for me, it's not consistent enough to use it. And sometimes, I don't know, it's just a little, I don't, I don't really enjoy it that much. But, if, but besides the G apps, it works completely great on menus and everything. And if you like this nice, dark, soothing color, you can use it. So there is the Slim Center. From here, you can upgrade and check if you have the latest uh, update and stuff like that. And another important thing is the privacy guard. Just like on Cyanogen mod, you have a privacy guard, which you can choose which, which of your apps can do what and it will exactly access what. Like, I don't want my for shared app to go to the location. I just turn it off, and now it can't. And when I'll start the app, you will see the little privacy guard here on the side. If you are familiar with Cyanogen mod, you probably know this already. So it has this, which is very important. Mm, and there is another very interesting thing I've seen in this ROM. 
I haven't seen it yet on other ROMs, but I heard that it started that uh, KitKat ROMs will have this. Probably has something to do with the transparency. It's this button immerse mode. You don't have to have it here. I just made a shortcut. This way you have no nav bar and no status bar, but not like in Pi controls when you would have to swipe from the side to actually use it. You just swipe and you get it back. You see? You swipe and you get it back. It's really, 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 really useful for games and for surfing the web. And it's really, really nice, you know? So you don't have the navigation, uh, navigation buttons on top all the time. <laughs> Okay, besides that, the ROM is very, very, very fast and very responsive. As you can see, not, no frames, drops, nothing. Really a fast ROM. Everything works really great. I really enjoy it. It's very stable. Everything I've tested by so until now is very stable. If it's the camera and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and GPS and the mobile hotspot, everything seems to work great. I am not sure it works on the swipe in the keyboard works on English. I'm not sure if it works on any other um, any other language because I've read some reviews that it did not work on some foreign languages, but on English it works and it works pre perfectly well. So um, I don't know. Uh, okay, so it's stable, it's fast, it's smooth. You can pretty much say that it's a lot like Cyanogen mod, but a bit faster and a bit smoother. Battery life is very, very good on this phone. I added, one second, I added a picture, a screenshot of my screen life that I did yesterday. Uh, as you can see, 17 hours and 52 minutes and 4%. So that would pretty much, as you can see, I had three and a half hours of screen on time, <coughs> which is a lot. It is a lot of screen time. It is a lot of screen time. And the battery life is really, really, really good. So I really like this ROM and I think it's great and I recommend uh, anybody to use it. I will leave a link for the uh, Slim ROM the site where you can download it, the official version, and for this awesome wallpaper as well. Uh, okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, feel free to comment and subscribe and I'll try to answer your questions if you have any else. That's it. Goodbye.